Okay, so this is how you can make another key for your Golf 5 step by step. So first you have to order a blank key. I will include link in description. You can order on AliExpress for about 15 euros. So this is blank key. These are both keys, my old and new. So we have to go to locksmith and have our blade cut as first step. Okay, so now I have my blade cut. It costs, I actually paid more than for key itself. Only cutting the blade costed me 19 euros, but whatever. So now with blade cut, I can open the doors. I can unlock and lock the doors because blade is already same. But of course I cannot use remote. I can turn on ignition because I have my blade cut, but you will see immobilizer light flashing. And if I try to start car, it will just shut down instantly because car doesn't recognize my new key. So let's take our scan tool. I am using Xtool D8S and also key programmer KC100. So first thing to do, I have to go into this expansion mode so I can connect another devices like this key programmer. Now let's go to special functions, find emo. Now we have to search for Volkswagen. Here on the bottom there is Volkswagen. Let's go inside, select by car model. Europe, this is Golf 1K, 2004 to 2014. And we have to select our instrument cluster type, this is CDC. It wants to do backup of ABS codes, let's hit OK. Now let's go to this self-selected menu, add the key directly. And now we can just follow steps. Step 1, read EEPROM data, but it wasn't successful, so let's just go ahead with step 2, which is reading immobilizer data. We have to wait a couple of seconds, but it was successful, so it was able to read emo data, so we will be able to create key. So step 3 is make dealer key, and this is something like pre-programming. So dealer key will still not work to start car, but it will be pre-programmed and it will be ready to make new key. So after a few seconds of waiting, it tells me to put new key into the coil, so let's do that. Let's put it inside the coil, and now the KC100 will transfer data to make dealer key so it will be ready for programming for my car another few seconds of waiting and we got successful message so right now we successfully created our dealer key but like i said this is only pre-programming this will not let me start car check this out out with old key let's try the new one so this is the new dealer key but you can still see immobilizer light flashing and that means this key is still not paired to my car so let's go ahead and let's do the final step, step 4, add the key directly. I have my KC already connected, this should be pretty fast. Ok, put the new key in coil, I already have done that. So we can do final step, let's hit OK. And just like that we successfully created our new key. So now we have second working key, check this out. Out with the old key, let's try new one, switch on the ignition and we no longer have immobilizer light. And I can even start car and everything is working fine. But of course we have to do last step and that is programming remote. So before programming remote I want to scan for all fault codes and clear all faults because I suspect we will have some weird fault codes because I tried to start car with unrecognized key. So scan all fault codes, let me just speed it up for you. Ok, I have my fault codes scanned. Let's go ahead and do clear all DTCs. This will clear all fault codes. And with faults cleared, we have to go to module number 46, Comfort System Central Control Module. Now go to Adaptation, Common Channel Number, we have to go to channel 00, so this will reset all remotes. You have to do that before programming new one, so now we deleted all programmed remotes. And in the next step we will be programming remotes for both keys, old and new. Now this is very simple, all we have to do is change this value from 1 to 2, since we will be programming two keys. Let's hit OK. And now we have 15 seconds to insert key in ignition and press any button. So I have my new key, let's press any button, now it is programmed. Second key, put in ignition, press any button, you will see your turn signal flash. And that means remote is successfully programmed. So you can see our new remote is working, now old remote working as well, so job successfully done. And now I have two keys for my Golf 5.